Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Experiential Learning Depot. I create and share experiential learning resources for um, TPT and my store is Experiential Learning Depot. I create all experiential learning resources, um, most of which are project-based learning resources and those are my top sellers. I'm in the middle of creating one right now that I'll get posted up here fairly soon that is asking students to create a two-day tour of their hometown and then share it with anyone, users, an authentic audience, those that could potentially be touring the town. And one of the end products of this project is to create a Google Maps tour. And so I want to, I created this one of my own hometown in Minneapolis. It's a two-day tour. Um, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do that. And so you can see from this uh, tour that I created on Google Maps here that I have a route. I have pins down of all of the places that I want my tourists to go. They're my favorite places in my hometown. On the left hand side here, you can see the itinerary. These are all of the places that I would want my visitors to go. And then here is the directions. And this is a bike tour, so I have it clicked on bike. And then this is day two. So I have these two different layers, day one, day two, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with your own map. Oh, and if you click on a pin here, you can see I have my own picture. I have this long description here. I was able to change the color of the pin. So let's show you how to do that. So if you go to the Google Maps homepage, um, let's click out of here. You need to be signed into your Google account. So mine is Experiential Learning Depot, and then I'll head over here and I want to scroll down to your places. You may or may not have paid places already up. It doesn't really matter. What you want to do is create a new map. So you go over to maps over here and we're going to scroll down, click out of here. And there's this little button down here that says create maps. We're going to create a new one. And I'm going to, just for the sake of time, put a couple tourist spots on here of, um, let's do a, right here you can see a map title. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna do a quick walking tour of Linden Hills, which is this tiny little area, Linden Hills. It's this little pocket of South Minneapolis that's awesome. Um, we can put a little description in, blah, 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 blah. Cool spot in South Minneapolis, save. Okay, so that'll be saved up here. We have our first layer here. We're gonna, this is gonna be day one. We're gonna add a second layer and that will be day two. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. As for now, let's change the name of the first layer to day one of our tour, save that. And then we need to get our first spot down. So let's go up here to search our spot. I'm gonna click in Zumbro's Cafe. It's a great breakfast place. And it pops this little pin down here. What I want to do is add that to our map. This isn't going to stay here. I need to add it and make sure that um, it appears over here on this side. So you can see the Zumbro Cafe. I don't like the blue. It is hard to see, kind of blends in here. So you can click on this bucket and change the color. Let's do something nice and bright. And that just changed to yellow. This is our first stop. I don't want this description here. I want my own description and your students should as well. If you click on this little pencil here, your students can write everything that they love about this place. They can include the cost if they want. They can include how close it is to their next stop, whatever they wanna to include to get people to wanna to take this tour. So I'm just gonna put great brunch spot, close to shops and the lake. Um, what else is cool about it? Locally sourced ingredients. Okay, we're gonna save that. Another thing you have to do is give photo credit. So we're going to put a photo in here. But if you get anything, if your students take any photos or videos, they can definitely add this on here and give themselves credit if they want. But if they get photos from someone else online on a website, they need to give that person credit. So I stole this picture from Zumbro's website. I'm just going to put that on here. Photo credit Zumbro's website. Okay. And then we'll save that. Now I'm going to add my photo. You can click on this little photo icon here and it gives you a variety of options. You can insert a link to a photo. You can grab one from Google Drive if you have one on there. Mine, I took a screenshot of the website, of the Zumbro's website, so it 
is on my desktop. I'm just going to click on that and it'll upload there. And our first pin has been created then. So then I can click out of this and it will stay there. Still there, still there over here. What I want to do now is our next stop is going to be the Lake Harriet Band Shell. So we're going to have our tourists walk from Zumbro's through the little town of Linden Hills, kind of around the lake to this Lake Harriet Band Shell. Again, I want to add that to my map and you can see it popped up over here. Again, I want to change the color that's kind of blending in. Let's do a little orange. And I also want to change the description. Okay, Lake Harriet Van Shell is, um, it has live music, it has a restaurant for snacks, ice cream, hot dogs, there's a beach, you can rent boats, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna put photo credit here, and um, I'm just gonna put Experiential Learning Depot because I took this picture. Me and my own children went to the Van Shell yesterday in the middle of a blizzard. So let's um, grab that picture I sent it to my computer and I have it on my desktop. And that is this one here. Beautiful snowy day in Minneapolis. So now let's just say day one then. We're gonna save that. Day one is done. It's gonna be short. We're just gonna have a couple things on there. Um, your students should have an entire day full of events and restaurants and whatever prepared for their tours. So we can click out of that. It'll still be here. Here's the problem. If visitors come, they're not necessarily going to know where to go or how to get to these places. So we don't have directions yet. Our other spots way over here. Um, here's the Lake Harriet Band Shell. What we want to do is get directions going. So I'm going to click on Zumbro's, the original pin that I created. And if you look here, there's a little directions icon. We're going to click on that. And it's popped up this entirely new layer. So I'm going to change the name to directions, walking directions so that our tourists don't get lost. I'm going to put Zumbro's back up top here. And we're going to, again, put in Lake Harriet Bandshell. And it will create this route for them. But here's the thing. This is a driving route. This would be the fastest way to get to a parking lot. What we want to do is walk. So over here, there are options. You can click on that. There's a bike option and there's a uh, walking option. So we're going to click on walking and then it changes it a little bit. So we kind of walk through this little neighborhood, beautiful homes, and then it brings you to the trail on the lake that takes you to the Lake Harriet Band Shell. So that's day one. What we want to do now is create day two. So we're going to add another layer. Um, we're going to change the name to day two. And you kind of just start this whole process all over again. So let's say I want to go to the Baker's Wife in South Minneapolis. So yummy. It does it all over again. It drops a pin. Um, you can add it to your map. You change the description, add pictures, change the color, and continue on doing that the same way. Um, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do all of that because I hope that you get the point by now. And you can continue to add layers if you decide to do more days. What I want to show you first, or now I guess, is how to share it. So you can share it in a variety of ways. If you click on these three little buttons up top here, you can um, embed the link into your website, which is something that I would do at experientiallearningdepot.com. That's my, my own blog that I, and I would love to, if students have projects that they want to send to me, they can go to experientiallearningdepot.com and contact me and send me their link of their end product of their project to post on my website. I would love that. So this is an option. Another option is to export the link. You can also share it. Let's say you just want to share it with a teacher or another student or a family member that also has Google, like any other Google document or um, anything in Google Drive you can share by clicking on the share button and simply inviting people. So um, you can just type in their name or their email address and it will send to them. So um, this is a really cool project. It's innovative. It's student directed. Um, it uses technology. It's a really, really great way to share authentic with an authentic audience because you can share on social media you can share on a blog. Um, it's just a really great project for project-based learning principles. Thanks.